The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. To my knowledge, can only have been taken by one of two people. I'm pretty sure. And both of those people are middle-aged fucking English men. One of which pays for prostitutes every night and didn't like me because of my... I thought he were going to do something because he's on TikTok, this man, uh, who's been married to three prostitutes and was paying the, the loud guy who you could hear every night at that hotel that I was at that stayed down the way from me. Um, that one with a loud laugh, him. And we had a bit of a thing at the end where he'd said to me, you know, you've got an horrible face on your time. I said, I don't find you funny. I've... You know, I don't, if I was the prostitute that you were paying, I'm not being funny, but I want to, I want to die the next day. That I'd been, they get to pay ten pound in in Asia and Thailand and places like that. I'd want to die if that man had been sweating up on top of me. Um, and so he could have taken that picture. I'm actually cracking my back there. That's what I'm doing. I've got my hand in my my hip here and I'm twisting my body. <laughs> I'm cracking my, my spine and Cairo is naked walking from the pool at the hotel to the room. So if you see that there, I'm just gonna put some other pictures up. This is the hotel that I was staying at. So you can see that there's the rooms there, but these are not the rooms that I was staying in. There's more rooms here at this side of the hotel. This is a building here, and at this side, this is all car park, all here, and then there's another block of apartments there, and there's two villas there. This is where I was staying. So that image is of Cairo, here he is, walking from the pool, wet through, around here, and I've stopped and I'm cracking my back like a weird fucker. And I remember this moment, this day is when I got that sheen parcel, if you remember. I've only wore this top once and it got destroyed that day. Um, so I've only wore this once so I can kind of pinpoint when this was. I've looked through my phone and I can't see any pictures in the outfit, but these pants again, only wore them three or four times because they're new. So, one minute. One minute. I want you to look at this picture and look at that up there and the outside and the car park and stuff. The picture I'm going to show you is my room, like I just said, is down here further down. This is like room 9, 10 and I was in room 3, okay, just to make it clear to you. So this is a picture that I'd taken from my room and the red line is where about we would have been on the picture that you can see. We would have been about where that red line is, like in here in the car park not like the, the do you know what i mean walking back to the pool so that is an innocent picture of me walking my child back to my room in my hotel not you trying to say that um i'm parading my kid around the streets naked or something like that if that's a narrative you're trying to spin that's my child trying to live his home comforts in his home which was a hotel because you took away my ability to provide a permanent accommodation for him at that fucking time uh, and i couldn't afford an apartment so i was in a hotel with him and yeah he doesn't like to wear his shorts in the pool so he's naked sometimes so you've you don't need to have sympathy for me but why are you not concerned about why strangers are taking naked images of children? This is the second time. And it literally took me, to, that's the first time I've seen this image. It took me two minutes to go through my phone with pictures I've already got and clear this up as to what the explanation of it is. So I think it's beyond sickening now that people are continuing to justify this. 
and there's people that I don't know, women on this app talking about my child in a derogatory manner when everything he's been through is because of this bullshit and these stalkers and now this is what I'm telling you, actual paedophiles are taking pictures of my kid in the street and posting it on the internet. Can it, and you lot are commenting things like he's on the dark web, he's on the, can you actually imagine? And this picture is at least, it's got to be three weeks old, a month old at least, it has to be. It can't be any earlier than that. Those trousers and that top, I don't even know where that top is now. I literally, that was either the day or the day after I opened the Sheen parcel. Never seen it since. No, what's not? I can't keep him dressed when he's in the pool in a fucking tropical country that's 50 degrees, sweetheart. It's physically and logically impossible. I walk around all day screaming, put your fucking pants on, but the second he gets in the pool, he texts them off. That's what he always done. What? How could I stop him? I'm gonna smoke a cigarette now. How am I lying about it? Somebody has posted a picture of my fucking kid naked at a hotel, trying to say that I'm parading him down a street. And I've just explained what it is because I actually know what that is. I remember that day. He was put on in the street. Let me put the picture back up for you. This is the picture. This is Cairo walking back to the room of the hotel. He could have had shorts on. He could have had shorts on. He doesn't always have shorts on, but he could have had shorts on. This is the hotel that we were at when this happened. These are the rooms here, but there's more rooms at the back. This is a photograph from my room. And that red mark is where we were stood on that picture, on the, the gravel on the ground there. That's where we were stood. Does that make sense? that anybody's even going and we're justifying this madness is bizarre to me. It's been in the orphanage for six, 17 days. I'm fine. But it's people trying to say that my kids are like being paraded around the streets naked or fucking outside backpacker hostels or something with no clothes on or fucking I'm washing him in toilets or something none of that is the case you are the weirdos for taking pictures of an innocent child you've taken away his home you've made the kid when he had to live in a fucking hotel and then you've taken naked pictures of him trying to live his home life in a hotel you know he's running from his pool to his bedroom and you're fucking snapping naked pictures of him that's what's a concern here not that the child is out swimming with his mum and his mum supervising him and taking him back to the room that's not the concern the concern is who's taking these pictures and it's concerning how many of you are not concerned about that that is what is a concern to me not gonna be going to get him back why would i be going to get him back when people are taking naked pictures of him on my fuck staying in vietnam there's another guy coming to see me in a couple of days and i'll be continuing trying to get pregnant i'm not going to be going back anywhere while people are doing things like this when i find out that i'm pregnant when i have my three month scan then i will be coming off social media and living my life in peace but until then I will be on social media as much as I want. When did you allow him to walk down the street naked? Every day. Every single day. You are not allowed to wear clothes, only a dog lead. Absolutely not. I love TikTok shop.
Haley's not requesting the van. Can't request her. Oh shit. Hello, Chelsea. Who is it? Are you going to talk? Was it was that Chelsea? It's Chelsea. Yes, this one is. Hi. Hello. I just want to address everything that's going on. Like, do you actually think it's right what you're doing? What am I doing? It's confusing. Like, babe, your little boy is in another country. You're not fighting and you're, you're exploiting yourself. Like, you really need to take some time off the app and think about you and fight for your kid. And you know what I need to do better than I do, do you? I'm not being funny, though, Jojo. She doesn't have well, to explain when a baby's anything involved, to anyone. Yeah. You've been so uh, pardon, because I haven't made up any of the things that have been... Babe, she's putting herself on an app and a kid's life. Wait, meet yourself. It's all over TikTok, so people are going to be asking questions. Do I look like I give a fuck what's on TikTok? Yeah, but she's just making it what worse for it? herself. It's just not nice, what? is it? What I don't oh, understand has any though, of this been nice from the start? As me being stalked with my kid and being accused of being a paedophile and having strangers taking naked pi pictures of my child. So if you was getting stalked, why? If you, if you was getting stalked, why have you put yourself on internet? Because she's here to make money, love. It's not why nothing to do with so you. So if you was getting stalked, why? Why should I be stalked off of the internet by a group of bully bitches that don't want me to succeed in life? Like, don't want me to have a friendship group, that don't want me to have a support network, that don't want me to have finances, that don't want me to have relationships with my know. kids? Who the fuck are they to dictate oh, my life? I am like that? Who are any of you people to think you can dictate my life in such a capacity? Like, I'm not being funny, right? I've known that. Yeah, because you think that you can't handle my face. I don't give a fuck. Look at it every day, sweetheart. It's not even, it's not even about that, Al. What, what's, what I'm trying to say is I've followed you, yeah, right from the start from when you was pregnant with Cairo. Yeah, right, and so I why was you, you not I've bothered? Been... Why are you triggered now about videos of Cairo being in an orphanage when this is what's been going on no, for four not, years? I'm not I've triggered by it, Al. I'm more, concerned at, I'm more concerned about the fact that what's going on with you, like... Yeah, I just don't no, get it. You, so... no, you don't give yes, a fuck we... about me, sweetheart. You've just jumped in my box to persecute me in a room full of 3,000 people to get no. you five minutes. You can't message me. You can't yeah. give a fuck about me. Don't talk shit. I'm not one of these people. Anyway. Look, look, look. At the end I of the day, my she's life on my own and I live it for my fucking self. I don't need anybody crawling up my arse talking <laughs> shit to me. I'm a, a one person no who stands on arse, my own. They're just well. more concerned so about that. Save it for somebody else. I give a shit about you. Absolutely. Pull it Else, like, I'm not being Maybe funny. You I'm not saving that. yourself for your son. Like, I'm not. Literally. How being funny, you I've known Ellis from the start, right? From when all, all of this shit fucking son. happened. Nobody deserves to talk uh, about a son. Leave it there. Accused me of lying about all yeah, of exactly. this. Yeah, exactly. Accused me of making up false reports and fucking doing this to myself and forcing myself to move out. Which isn't story. fucking true. I've embraced this. I've made being stalked and abused into a fucking adventure for my son and travelled and took him to beautiful places and made sure I've fucking gone You're out every day. You've done amazing doing that. You've done amazing doing that. Fair play to you. People have taken every fucking aspect of who I am of my life and turned me into a fucking dormant fucking weird cunt. Some people, not all. No, at the, no, not everybody, because I'm not doing this to be you nasty to you. I'm not saying to you, like, I've supported you straight, right from the start, from on your on your following, yeah? I've gone through every TikTok that you've been in and I've followed you all this time and I'm, more, I'm, I'm worried about you. I don't appreciate that. Take your worry and worry about if Father Christmas is coming down your chimney yeah. this year because I you're am a fucking strong woman. Sad. You're doing well. You've done well so far.
You'll carry on being strong. I'm sound. Like, I'm not I being funny. Why are people going, oh, why are you on TikTok? I'm not why, girl. why are you on... Like, a lot of people going, oh, why are you on TikTok? Why are you on live? Why are you doing this? What do you, why, why are you doing that? I'm not being funny. talking about me? I'm yeah, exactly. And I'm, I'm, I'm not being funny. I've known you from the start, Ellis, and you know full fucking well I've stand, stood by you, by your fucking side. We've been through life together, TJ. I know yeah, that. exactly. This is what I mean. And people that are in here fucking trying to call shit for nothing, no just go fuck shit. yourself. I'm not causing yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, but honey, 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 honey you're literally going, going oh, why truth. are you on live? Why are you on this? Why are you doing that? I'm not being fucking funny. She's doing this for her children. <laughs> Okay. She hasn't just got one fucking kid, love. She's got fucking three. Yeah, she just said she was they, doing then? it for herself. But she, she just said she's doing, doing it for herself. herself. For herself. She's not. I'm not saying that she's she doing it. She just said no. that, bro. She just said, I'm doing it for myself, not for my kid. Hmm, Basically. Yeah. Because you don't know. You Your don't know. Your kids come first. Your kids come first. Don't I've got three fucking kids. Fuck fuck this. I do Most know. She are. just said she's basically doing it for herself. She ain't doing it for her kid. Fuck you, man. You don't deserve it. That that so so yeah, yeah, but you just you guys don't know fucking nothing. No, you guys are just that, assuming TJ. and getting it the worst. Leave yeah. it at that, TJ. That's what we want. Hi. All right, Welcome. everyone's going nuts on it, right? I'm not being funny. You've got to look at the whole situation. You can't just jump. You want most of it, were you? Because you've seen the recent stuff. You can't just jump on because you've seen the recent stuff and act like you know the whole situation. She's been on you for years, telling you everything, and you're only day exactly. by day. The triggers day you. by day, telling the stories. Every exactly, she's done well. On to watch it. Watch so it's her life. Like if she wants to jump on you and talk about her life, why can't she? Everyone else it's does. Of course she can. Of course she can. And it's positive what she's doing with her son. Like, I'm not being funny, there's a lot of other people going around showing their fannies on fucking live and shit, and you guys are fucking yeah, coming for Ellis, so I think so. No, exactly, but it just don't fucking you're make not, sense. You're, you're doing well for your son, you're, you're not a dirtbag, you're, you're there. Simple as. <laughs> people are mega heated, it's actually funny. <laughs> anyway, Ellis, I'm coming off, but ring me when you finish, please, I need to talk I to you. I love, I love you. you. Bye. I accept some more people. Someone go and shout Elsa, wait, let me get Elsa. Is Elsa even on? Yeah, I think she is. Are you okay though, really? Are you okay? I'm fucking great. Do you even know what's going to happen next, Alice? I'm not being, I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing this to be nosy. I've followed you from the start and I'm, I'm generally like worried for you and I just want, we, everyone that's ever here wants to support you. I know exactly what's going to happen next. I didn't fight for my other kids. I ain't gonna fight for this one. I'm gonna live my life. Does that not upset you? No. What's your occupation? I've come yeah. to accept that yeah, I'm not allowed right, to have anything. March so. Can you hear me? This woman has had nothing but trolls for the last four years. That little boy has, has done a uh, oh, swim to your old. She Hello. takes him everywhere. People need to leave this woman a bleeding poor. He's done more than anybody could do in the lifetime in the last year. Can you hear me? No, right, love. I'm just accepting more people. Is it letting me? My daddy. You just carry on living your life. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. Oh, nice one. You have a good one. I don't care what other people say on it. Yeah. What I have seen you sit with learning learning to swim. He's been around the countries. He's, you know, he's loving life. Some places what that people would never visit in their lives. This woman's been through so much with the trolls, honestly. Because people are vile. People are like trolling. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, Bill. And then she don't come on as much because of it all. Uh, I'm accepting people in the box. Go and get that. What's her name? I'll carry on doing you and your son. 
Some people were sleeping tents, others were well. Listening. Listening. I'll let some bales come in there, but honestly, take care. Alright, mate. Alright, mate. Bye. Right? You have to put me out, don't out, do it. Alright, mate. Love you. Yes. Mate. What did he say? He said. I just hate the fact how people judge you and assume and like to think of your life and what you're doing, but what I've They're seen... They're telling me I'm sick, that. like all of this shit's come out of my but head, they, like I've sat they don't, shit. they don't know shit though, do they? They don't know shit, they're assuming. There's a difference between knowing shit and assuming shit. I'm not ready to say anything other than what we're saying. No, and you don't need to, you don't need to say anything. It's up to you. It's your, it's your life. It's nobody else's. I'm not away on this app, but what I will say is this app is a fucking shambles and all you can do is keep your chin up that's what you've done for the last how many years yeah exactly anyway guys i'm gonna go Keep being you. Don't get lost. Well, okay? Oh well, see you later. Bye, take care. Bye. Bye. I'm talking. You see, there's... I'll be able to show you more than tell you. And I can't show you anything right now. But when the time is right. I'll show you a thing or two. But just observing in the meantime. And... doesn't matter, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut for now, but... <laughs> the app is... F for the people that said this was a social experiment, if it was, what a fucking fantastic one. Do you know what I mean? Like, what an amazing social experiment. This experience, the last 20 days, has taught me so much about this app. I thought I knew about this app. And I did to an extent, everything that I thought was right. Thank you very much for the gift. But what has opened my eyes the past two weeks is mind blowing. And it's actually been quite funny at the same time. Because I've got thick skin and I can handle it. Like, oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> I've still not seen a lot of the videos and stuff people have done. I've only seen a handful of. Uh, the ones I've shared, I've not even watched them all because it bores me watching people talk about me that don't know me, to be honest. If one of them single people popped up and asked me for my version of events, I'd give it to them. I'm all over social media screaming my story. I'll fucking tell it to anyone who wants to hear. But I don't like, like people demanding or fucking... I don't like being backed into a corner and forced into anything. I'm a very defensive person. I'll just be like, listen, fuck you, fuck that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not interested. If you push me, and push me and push me, I'll fight with everything I've got. If you take away what I love or what I want or what I care about, I'll stop. I don't care. I'll just, I'll protect myself whatever way I have to because for some ridiculous reason, I'm not dead yet. There's no bruises on the photos, I would just never post an image of my child on social media again in my entire existence or, um, yeah, so I went back, I posted the pictures perfectly fine and then I went back and edited them 
to blur them because nobody's entitled to see my child when they're posting naked images of him and that is harmful of me to post any images of him when people are trying to access him naked. You can now edit pictures to take the clothes off of children and to add, say, male parts to an innocent child or female parts to an innocent child. Uh, you can sexualise images very easily online these days and I will not be contributing towards that. Uh, willingly, as soon as I'm able to, every video with him in it will be taken off of social media. You can keep what you've got. I hope you fucking enjoy it, you sick fuck. If it's not in this life, in another, we will come across each other for that. The universe works in those ways and you will have to confront me for those things and I would very much be interested to have that experience. I don't regret anything. I did what I had to do for everybody involved. I'm not a liar, you people just don't recognise the truth and you have an issue with it because people being honest is so shocking. I'm one of them people as well that I say what people think. I don't just go along with what people want me to say because they want me to agree with them. That's why in that live before, these bitches are trying to manipulate into me. Oh, we care about you. Well, you think, no, you don't. You just want to get up my arse so you can talk shit, so you can scream record me, so you can get clout off me. Do I look like an op -ed? I don't need your friendship, your fake care now. Where have you been for the last four years when people have been accusing me of being a paedophile and when they've been twisting this, that, and that? I'm not interested in your fucking friendship. I've survived this shit. I pay £4,000 a month bills myself. Why the fuck do I need you to be my friend? You slime ball. Don't be so silly. If it were to pay for his teeth, I'd say that. I made more than enough money to pay for his teeth in the first two days of this storyline. I would just say, all right, I've got the money now, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Would I not give it up already? Um, a hiss. I, get you'll, I guess you'll never know. And then a creepy laugh like, eh, 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 like that. Thank you for the gifts, my loves. But uh, you can just pay for my clam packet if you click the link in my bio. In fact, if you search the word for my OF thing in my bio. Madness, would you mind going and spamming all my videos with that, please? If you wouldn't mind, sweetheart. You bitches want to add into the live, let's crack on. Hi there, can I just say, you are the most vile, disgusting, undeserving of children woman on this app. You vile cunt. I hope you not see that child ever again, you dirty whore. Everything you've had done to you, you deserve it and more. Don't ever try and fucking... Try and... The, the fact... 
But you're in a different on, country. Let me turn, one minute, one minute, one minute, the volume's down, let me turn it up. Right, go on, I'm listening, I'm the listening, go on. Give me your best shot, your best insults, come on. I want your best you're... insults. Well, if you let me speak, I want to write these down wrong. in my notepad. Listen, if these insults are not worthy of writing in my notepad and passing on to my favourite enemies, passing then I'm not listening. What? So what, are you ready you for son, your best insults? Why you let insults? your son get passed on around and sexually abused? You, you let your son get sexually abused? Had naked photos oh, with AI'd far. of him? No, how's it far? That's a bit extreme, how's it far? isn't it? You, you allowed a strange a extreme, man to take photos of your child and AI generate naked pics and you were fine with that, yeah? What an absolute slapper. Like, you do not deserve How does what anything. look like? Hang on a minute. Let's talk about what you're saying. Let's There's talk about United, what you're saying. Why, why are we even trying to... Let's talk about what you're saying. What, you're what, saying that this image that I've known about this image... Let me put it on the green screen right now. Right. As long as you've known about it. You're saying that I knew about this image, are you? Are you saying I knew about that image? You can clearly say I'm not looking. So what you want about me allowing people to AI generate images? Because this is the image you're talking about. So how do I know about that image? I'm walking in an opposite direction. I'm actually cracking my back at this stage with my arm about it. No, so how am I? No, justify what you're saying with evidence. Back what you're saying with evidence. How am I allowing somebody to take a paedophilic image of my child to then AI child. generate it? How? How? Where is your evidence to substantiate what you're saying? Back you're it with really really evidence. Know. Get on your camera. Get your green screen on and pull your fucking camera. evidence up. I don't need a camera. I'm pull fine. your I, evidence I, up. Pull I, your evidence up. Pull your evidence up. So that image there, as you can see, that image there, that image is here. In a hotel where that. I was living with my son, where that park is, that's where we were walking on that picture, it? back towards our room. This here, this is the balcony in the room. They've got outside balconies with a table and a sink and you can sit there because I was forced to live in a hotel with my two-year-old because stalkers oh, had me kicked out of my apartment. Well, you've had forced to lose all of my belongings yeah. multiple what, times. What happened to all the yeah, well, if you're going to attack me based on what you see online, then make me, sure that you're knowing all of the facts and that you're judging based on facts. Don't be making up lies about pedophiles. That's about, never happened. What about the fact that you almost let your son drown and a random strange man had to take him out of the pool when he was screaming? No random strange out. man was involved in that. What are you talking about? There were no men involved in that. How do you learn to oh. walk if you don't fall off? And my son can swim unaided at two years old. You threw him in a pool and he was scream crying for you. No, you went I didn't and you got throw a drink. Him in a pool. Yeah. Actually, what happened was he didn't acknowledge me before he went down the slide. We always say, are you ready? And he didn't say that. So when he went down the slide and he had some trouble... You're his he, fucking um, mum. What do you I'm mean? What? Are you all right? Oh. How do you think I teach my kid oh, to right. swim, sweetheart? How do you think I I've taught my two-year-old to swim on the I'm standing at the side swim. of the fucking pool and shouting, go on, kid, you can do it. That's how I taught him to swim. More bothered, about him, more bothered about him swimming than brushing his teeth. He's more bothered about him swimming than brushing his teeth. You're more Listen, about the if you've not got too. facts or evidence of anything you're saying and you're just making up evidence fucking lies, just then I'm not doing it. I'm willing to talk to anybody, to but not AI a bullshitter, so sit up here, gobshit. Next. Evidence or nothing. You declined. We're not abusing evidence so fuck all. Why are you all declining? Don't request me if you're going to decline, you soft cunt. For everybody to feel how I felt for the last four years, then believe me, we'll have this. We'll go with it. We'll crack it on. I'm not fucking ass Because finally, the entire app is on its knees feeling how I felt for the last four years. Good. Good. No more one, no one else is. I'm not having any scruffy fuckers get into the box. Like, have a proper creator get in the box or do one. It's not about the heat. I'm not being accused of things that are not true. Pedophiles and shit. It's not true. I'm not having that. I'm the first person that will hold my hands up to my fuck-ups and say, I've done this, I've done that. You know, i fucked up, but I'm not just going to have people accusing me of things that are not fucking true.
Hey, honey, you all right? Are you ready for a bit of madness in this world? Because the numbers are doing numbers. Oh, we don't mind a bit of madness now and again. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you. How's the orphanage life? Oh, it's fucking great for me, you know. It's all relaxation and R&R. &R. I don't know what the other R is, but it's doing it. Do you know what? That is what I was saying. It's a nice break for you, right? Everybody's moaning about it. I've never had so many massages. And, and it obviously saves money on childcare. You can have a bit of time off. And then if I don't know what I'm talking you about. Can... They don't pay my child benefits. They can piss off. It's a nightmare. Do you know what I mean? I haven't been able to keep up with a lot of it because I've been really busy filming as Ben Mitchell and his senders. I know, I can't wait for the return. I'm very excited. I miss you as the sun in Teletubbies. The be <laughs> the, my favourite one was your letter to your children the other day. I think I'm going to have to copy that idea. <laughs> That's not a problem. Do you know what? Like, it's just now everyone's that doing video it. that video because I was like, that is a fucking cracker. Everyone was doing these letters to their children and I just thought it's about time mine heard it. That was fucking brilliant. I was howling. It's laughing me, I don't. Right, Linz. Linz just said, no, nah, I supported you, but no, nah, Linz, <coughs> you're a level nine gifter. What the fuck's your support going to do, sweetheart? You don't even follow me. Come on. You can do better than that, just collecting from the treasure boxes and sending back a rose. Fucking brilliant. Oh, guys, can we have a whip round? I've just lost Linz's support. Oh, Linz, no, please, I take it all back. I really need a level nine gift of wasting my time. <laughs> I can't believe it, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. What he said. <laughs> Fucking ass. Her son's in an orphanage. Does, does she have to pay for that? Do you have I'm to supposed to. That's what they're talking about next. Yeah, they can fuck off. I'm not going back to Thailand anyway, so I don't know how they're going to get the money off me. Alex, that's why I left Spain, because I don't want to have to pay my kids child support. I've just ordered myself a fucking laptop, a camera, a printer, um, a ring light. Um, I'm getting my slut right on. I ain't got time for no fucking childcare. I mean, I'm trying to get pregnant again, but this one, I'd like to be a surrogate. I don't mind if it's not actually my kid. I just um, want to be you pregnant. You know what? I would love to have another baby, because now I'm in England, I can get child support. But I have to men are all over you when you've got a belly. It's so hot. Would you surrogate for me? I would. That could, we could do that and we could do collab as well so, and you could surrogate for me. Oh my God, we could like, right, we could do the OF content as you get me pregnant and then we could do the birth live on there as well and sell tickets. Ah! Oh, I'm here. <gasps> that is so interesting. Uh, send me your number. I'll definitely set that up with you. I'll get you a flight immediately. Perfect. I'll DM you my number. I've always wanted kids. I can't wait. You look like you've got a big one as well. Oh, looks can be to save in. <laughs> but I'm six foot two, well, which I so I say, But I mean, if you're looking for nine inches, I can give it you if you'll take it in three instalments. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. We'll have all the other content. <sighs> and everyone, guys, if you can't a gift on here, I've put a TV and a hot tub on my wish list because I've got a seven foot train at the moment with no presents under it. So if you could all have a whip round because Christmas is a time for giving. Yeah, guys, if you could send anything to my PayPal, please, I'd like to get a couple of bags of the nostril candy tonight. So um, if you want to send some over for that, I'd appreciate it. Someone sent a tenner, but that's not going to do it. It's like 80 euros a bag. It is expensive where she is, guys, for the good stuff. It's 250 a bag in Cambodia. Oh, my God. Well, she's got no childcare to worry about. You should see if you can help her out. 
<laughs> Fuck, I love you. Message me your number for I'm serious. Message me your number. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yes, I am Ben from EastEnders. I've posted loads of evidence. Yes, he is Ben from EastEnders. I literally fucking grew up watching him, you cheeky fucker. Like, I'm, I'm back in it now, and I've been posting lots of proof. Uh, people, everyone's broke on my side. I thought all these people come in saying they don't like you, but they won't step up the cash for it. What's the point? MVP Smiler, and my trials are just as bad. It's pit week next week. Oh, fab die. Love a good pit break. That means I get my pip as well. I'm going to decorate my tree tonight. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dan. Can everyone tap the screen? Listen, I won't be getting my kid back until I can confirm that I can keep him safe. And I can't confirm that while strange people are taking pictures of him at fucking hotels and then posting him a month later. And doing shit like that, I find it incredible. I can't explain to you how it feels like... I saw that picture before. The fact that someone's taking a picture of your I found out about this picture on a live, or like I'd heard about it before, though, in the grapevine today or yesterday, and I thought, what is this picture on about? But I thought nothing of it, because I thought, what the fuck, they're all full of shit. And then, um, and then the first thing I've heard about it is this Haley's video. This Haley's done a video saying, I don't even want to post it blurred out because blah, blah, blah. So my mind is racing. I'm like, what the fuck is this picture of my child? So I've commented on a picture and, and a video and said, please message me about this uh, picture. I want to speak to you about it or like get in my box. What the fuck is going on? And then I've got in her box saying, why didn't you get in my box, please? And she didn't reply. So I dropped a rose in the live to get her attention. Uh, and then she's like, stick your rose up your crusty fucking bucket, you pedo. There's pictures of you making content with your kid in background. No, there isn't. No, there is not. I put money on it. Show me the pictures. Where are they? They don't fucking exist. I hardly even make content, and I certainly don't make content what you're saying with a kid in background. Impossible. Um, that's what I weren't happy with, seeing that as a fucking barefaced lie. Um, then mentioning things about paedophiles and that, like, okay, say what you're saying from what I've said in my videos, but allow yourself going too fucking far with lies. Like, that was what I weren't all right with. Stephen with the core gay. Yeah, to be fair, the fact that someone's took a picture of your kid naked wherever that picture was taken and whenever it was taken, that's not okay. So no, she's it's not, especially when I'm just a big thing about this being done by my ex. And they're trying to say, I'm trying to walk. Look at Alex. Taking pictures of my kid with saying these things like, this is where the picture was taken, this is the other angle of the picture, this is where we were in the car park on the other side of that thing. This is like where I was staying in the room. This is the actual picture. My kids obviously, the pool is here, so this is another view of the hotel. These are the rooms as you can see on that picture, I'll put it back on in a minute. But down here at the side is another row of these rooms and that's where we were staying. So that's why Kairos walking from here. He gets out there, he walks across there and he goes to the room down there. So this is me and I'm cracking my back here. I'm twisting my back with my hand at the top of my arse and I'm cracking my back spinning. And this is another view of that. This is like the roofs there that was... So they're just, there's no reason to have that image. It's inappropriate. It's an innocent photo of me what, supervising my child walking back to the room after swimming. There's no reason for anybody to have that picture or be posting that picture saying Cairo's being led down the street naked. It's clear that he isn't. And whoever's posted that has had ulterior motives. And that's fine. You've been led into a full sense of security. But once that's been cleared up, you need to acknowledge that and remove the image and stop sharing that narrative because that's actually harmful. Yeah, about to be fair, they should tell you who's given them that picture. 
But that's actually a fucking joke, do you know what I mean? You can clearly see that my explanation is the truth, so I think that... And that the fact, like I said, that's the first I heard or seen of it when I saw that Haley's video about it. Then she went live, I tried to get her attention, I dropped a rose, and she just went in on me like I'm some fucking paedophile. Judge what you want from my videos, because that's why I've made the videos for people to think, oh my God, she's a terrible human being, a horrible mother, good. That's what you've been accusing me of for four years. Now we're all feeling how I've been feeling, good. So I'll keep making those fucking videos, but the facts remain to be the facts. And um, what she said there is fucking lies. And for it to be a big creator with doing credit, that I'd consider her credible. I've watched a few of her videos before. I, I rate her. I watched her cover Jess later. I rated her. I don't appreciate her doing that when I know that people fucking rate what comes out of her mouth. It's a slime ball manoeuvre. We're on about Hayley Comet. Right, MVP Stephen, big up Roxy, Chloe, Alex Lane, Kelly, Smiler, everyone tap in. Yeah, that. So, has, has anyone, has anyone who's got this picture told you where it's come from? <laughs> no, but I know where it's come from. So I. At the hotel I was staying at, there was a group of guys that I got chatting to that were staying there, they were loud, they were English, they were drinking, and one of them was getting prostitutes every day, I paid him a tenner, bringing them out. He was a big, fat, horrible guy. I'm not being funny. I've done sex work my whole life, and I've not chose to do it, and I can just put myself in... Because I laugh and joke about it with men that want to, like... They're talking to me sexualised, and I'm like, listen, I whack people with dicks for my job, mate. Let's not go there, do you know what I mean? And they automatically think what they think of me. No, you're paying a girl £10 to have sex with her. And if I were that girl, I'd want to want to live myself the day after. So I see this situation differently. So when you're sat around the pool in the morning and I'm just taking my kid to go swimming and you're laughing and joking about last night's achievements and I don't find it funny and you're telling me, oh, you don't look very happy. Why do you always have that face? Well, I see this from a different comp um, perspective than you, sir. I don't see it as accomplishment. I see you as destroying someone's fucking life. And that young girl will remember your horrible sweaty breath on top of her neck for the rest of her life, believe it or not. You won't remember that because you pay fucking three girls a night. Do you know what I mean? So I had to tell him that to his face because I don't think it's an accomplishment. I think it's fucking pretty horrific, actually. And he were gobsmacked. So it's either him or there's also an American, an English guy that was here on a kickboxing championship with his son and they were all around the car park when this picture was took because I was walking back from the pool from where all them got, people were sat drinking and that. I didn't want Cairo around the pool and that like that. He has pants, so he would have pants put on him every morning but the fact is when he I goes on the is, sky, People are coming so into my life, right, and they're yeah. saying about the pants thing, right, but I've, ju I've just moved to the UK from abroad Right, and around, it's quite common people have houses in their pools, right, at the beach abroad, right, because it's not full of the cretins our countries are, I'm sure it is, but lots of people let their children go for a swim in the nudie, like, it's not that big a deal. Like, it's quite common. Let's not normalise what taking your child swimming and walking back to your hotel room with your child from your swimming pool. You're on holiday with your child at your pool. What is wrong with that? Why is it acceptable for somebody to take a, ch a picture of that child? What are you talking about? Why are you uh, justifying no, the no, public business like on the beach yeah. where I was living? Oh, everyone, on the, no matter what it is that I post, no matter what it is, you all justify it just to try and have like a one up on me. If the child takes off his clothes, sweetheart, he takes off his fucking pants. He's an innocent child. Caro is safe at the orphanage. Yeah, looks like he's having an all right time. Looks like he's being looked after where he is. Come, Steve. I like the car. I'm not planning on getting him back. I don't talk to my kids anymore. Fuck them all, innit? Just do you. They're a burden, kids. Oh, Victoria. They're a proper fuck about. Yeah. That's why I left the country, so I didn't have to pay for their child maintenance. That's what I mean, I'm fucking quids in already, it's only been two weeks and I'm fucking rolling in it. I've been um, escorting as well. I've made a little mini-series but I've wanted to wait till tomorrow to start posting it just in case uh, 
anything you know I might start posting it on my other account but yeah I've got like day in the life videos of my escort and I'll post it soon update you all on that oh nice is business good out there yeah it is I don't know why these ladies are charging £10 because I get two seventy an hour oh that's fantastic not bad right yeah, right I would for that sort of money I'll bend right over your balcony while your wife's asleep. No problem. Well, I don't know if the balcony would take my weight, so I might put, like, some else in the house. Don't want to end up being pained. <laughs> no problem. Why well, you need a GoFundMe, then? I didn't make a GoFundMe in the end, did I? I decided that, um... I made four thousand three hundred pound of my TikTok videos. I made twelve hundred dollars off my OnlyFans in four days. Um, I've been inundated with video calls. I've had numerous pay pigs, all because of this. So I think I'll be able to pay for it myself. Thank you, Angie. Pick up Stephen with the corgi. MVP Stephen, pick up Smiler, Alex, Charlotte, Kath, Roxy, Lisa. I don't know, someone's asking if you're on the snow. Yeah, I am, and the, and the brown as well. I don't really do the brown, but I have been on the toilet all day. I like to rip my toenails off and stick it and stick the needle in there. I'm not here to judge anyone about the life choices. I'm just here to entertain with my singing and dancing. <laughs> if the EastEnders bosses could see me now, they see me every day. I'm busy filming. Big up, Lely, for the fast crown. I like those glasses. I love all these people that I've never seen in my life who are like, I used to like you. He's <laughs> like, no, you didn't. Yeah. <sighs> so fake on this app. Fucking lot of shit. Oh, I'm losing all the support. <laughs> Well, that, no, but... What you don't realise is that the more hate, the better. As long as they're saying your fucking name, it doesn't really matter what for them. They think it's about money. It's not always about money. Money's not the most important thing in the world. I'd, it's, I'd rather prove a fucking point than money. It's just, fortunately, money comes with being spoken about on this app. It's nothing to do with money. It's everything to do with the principle. If I have to look the bad guy in the meantime, I'll take that. No problem. Yeah, I've lost a few followers. I'm, um... Guys, just while there's a few people in it, I'm trying to raise awareness. If anyone remembers Lady Diane, Harry and William's mum. Um... Guys, also, after his little advertisement, I've got one. Please go and donate to his GoFundMe for Lady Diana to be resurrected. Well, what it is, is I'm trying to campaign for Audi to be changed to our die because she was our Diane, wasn't she, the Queen of Hearts? It's a fucking great campaign, that. If you've got a petition, I will sign it. That is the yeah. best That is the best meme I've ever seen in my life. I can't read, so I'm looking for some help because she was our Diane, do you know what I mean? The pe She was the cream of hearts. Well, basically, I'm going to be donating 100% of all of my earnings and OnlyFans to the victims of the Gaza massacres. So if you'd like to sign up to my OnlyFans immediately, then I'll be keeping 100% of the money for myself. So do that now. Link in bio. Less will have all the cash. Comments going a bit quick, so 
but not that kind of day. Bye bye, smile. Right, tell me what creators are alive because nobody's, nobody else has been alive. Birdman uh, was alive before, who else? CLA not been alive today. Pick up Stephen. I haven't seen her, um. If you've missed about the photos, then go to the telegram. I know. I've decided I'm going to do my own version of Bonnie Blue, but not with underages. What about if I do coffin dodgers in every country I go to? But like old people's homes. <gasps> yeah, because there was that lady that was doing it with the barely legal. You could do barely living. <laughs> I love it. It'll be done in seconds. I wonder how many of them will die underneath me. Oh, the TikTok videos I can make with the corpses. Halloween, can you imagine the decorations? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, we've got a glove, guys. That was hilarious, barely living. <laughs> that was fast, that, I do. <laughs> uh, I do everything really fast. Big up, chat. No. <laughs> That's why I was so popular in prison. By the way, they've ripped Elsa with this as well. Um, Elsa, we weren't really, like, talking. Uh, we weren't not talking, but we'd not spoke for a bit. We were both doing our thing. Thank you for the gifts. And... Um, she randomly just jumped up with a lot of support for me in the middle of all of this without even speaking to me or knowing what was what. When I did speak to her, she knew exactly what was going on without even speaking to me. So absolute harm slice, fucking real one right there. That was um, a sign of respect that I appreciate a lot. So listen, there's not a lot that I wouldn't do for that girl now. I think she's all right. Now I she did that. After that, that was a sign of loyalty that I'd fucking, I'd do, I'd, I'd have her back, believe me, anyway. Me and her on the street together would be fucking lethal. Right, I'm going to drop one more before I decorate my tray. Yeah, go on, babe. I think I've got to do a TikTok arrange one to try and get some free points. If you're on I'm trying to do this live first. Are you? What is it? I'm not really sure. I don't. Are you with a, an agency or something? No, I left. Occasionally I can be a bit controversial, so I thought I'm going to go out on my own. You're great. You're very interesting. You've got good content. I've lived a varied life, you say. Like being in EastEnders yeah. from a young age and then doing the Eurovision and Celebrity Big Brother Austria and... The thing is, with TikTok, you can be who the fuck you want. If you want to come back on tomorrow as Mr. Tumble, you can do what you want. People right. are like, oh, that's going to be there forever. No, it's not. You can do whatever you want on this app. People forget very quick. The internet moves so fast. Do what you fuck you want. But your content is great. Very funny. Thank you, Big Rose and White, for the heart, mate. Thank you, man. The telegram is linked in the bio. Yes, Katie. You can go on. Keep saying to read your telegram in mine. <laughs> what a big word. Everyone tap the screen. What is telegram? Do I need to telegram? Yes. Hi, Calf. Send me a message, Calf. If you've unfollowed and blocked me, Sally, you won't be able to type. Oh my god, it's really oh. well. Oh my god. Hello. Kath, I get a lot of comments, so I might not see your comments again. So, uh, Sarah, who? So send me a message, I've followed you back. Beg for gifts. Beg for gifts for me. They say, why have a dog and beg yourself? So I've been teaching the dog to beg for gifts, right? Like. That's so cute. Beg for gifts. Beg for gifts. Beg, beg, beg. Yeah, she wanted a money gun then, if anyone's got one. Got a money gun. I want that picture of my mum, calf. Can't find it. Spoke to someone at St. Calf's, they can't find it. Do you remember? 
it were on computer and I used to ring up for it sometimes. Yes, Stephen. Thank you. I want it. Look at Stephen. Do you remember the picture, Kath? I don't know what Zach said. I haven't heard it. Guys, there's loads of evidence posted on my um, thingy. That woman who's in the chat works in one of my secure jails that I was in. Thank you, Kath, if you could find that. Maybe you could come on a live one night and tell some stories about what I was like in the secure unit. I was fucking mental where now. Do you remember when I battered that girl? What was her name? That Scottish fucking idiot. Oh that was funny, that. Good times. Some good kids in there, though. Some of them ended up being idiots, though. I've fucking seen a few of them later on. Like, dangerous them places, because they, like, section you all your life and that after that. I was lucky to be half normal. <clears throat> I am from Brig, yeah. Hang on, bail. Guys, he's kicking my ass in this match. Right, I do remember that. Thing. It's up to you, isn't it? Thank you, Kath. Send me a message. You're in Leland, I miss Leland. You're right, Jack. Yeah, Aaron. Here's a knobhead, so I can. Yeah, I was Ben. Yes, Ben Mitchell. I got burnt with a teaspoon. Yeah, comedy part and what comedy? We're not doing any comedy. Um, well, I, well, I'm a serious creator, and what I've seen of Mum on the Run, she is as well. It's quite serious topics as well that she does. Extremely serious. Make um, make up Stephen. Thanks for the first burst. I'm going to have to jump on, it's getting cold now. See my nips. Has anyone got a snipe? Oh, a confetti. Thank you. Stephen, pick up with the corgi. Oh, not quite enough. That was a good try, though. MVP, Stephen, pick up Smiley, Kelly, Catherine, Big Red, and White, like Mina, and everyone. Alice, it was great catching up with you, hon. You too, Adam. Well, send us a message, mate. Yeah, yeah, because if you're up for having a surrogate baby, I'm really interested. Yeah, let's definitely arrange that. Perfect. I'll send you a DM. Speak to you soon. That's a Bye bye. Close key. Close key. Well, this is what I'd rather know, Paris. So I'm not wasting money. I can fucking buy him stuff for when he gets out. Rather than fucking be wasting money that he ain't even gonna be. Mercy! Oh no. My back's going, I can feel it. You can feel it. I really just know nothing but online shop. I went to this farm the other day though. I was gonna just go around the shops and shop. There weren't nothing in the shops that is.
How are you? I love you, game. I love you. Hello. How are you? Could you remember me, you dirty bitch? How are you? <laughs> I love you. How about you? Are you all right? I love you. I love you. I love you. I had to get rid. That was too much stress. Tell Katie to jump back in. You can DM me if you PayPal me first. Whoever just PayPal me can DM me. Hello. Hello. Is this like a joke or like actually real life? I'm just gonna start it's real life. Do you think it's fair though, like after what you've been through as a child to then put your child through that as well? I haven't done this. I didn't but do this open? to myself. Like, from an outsider's point of view, you look like you'd got away from, like, a terrible life and started making a life for your child. And now you look like you're just saying this, it's great because it gets the views and I get it. But your little boy you sat there listening to everything that you're saying. And as young as he is, I'm sure he's very intelligent. He's, it in. he's really not sat listening to anything, sweetheart. I it's not. a speculation that you are making without fact. We all know that he's there, so isn't that listening? Clearly don't. You do clearly know he's there? Well, you don't because he's not, so I don't know what you're talking about. So, I'm not arguing about it. If you don't have a normal conversation, piss off. Do you think you'll go back at all to like see him or...? I don't know right now. Are we alright, Oxy? Yeah. Yeah, Mom's a little away. Man. Um, I think you got to pay to get him back. In the rubbish on purpose or anything, although that's the place for. There were a photo of you shared saying that your son was still weird on TikTok. Is that true? I wonder what happens for dinner tomorrow. Say that again. There were a photo of you that was shared on TikTok with your baby with no clothes on. Is that true? Yeah, it's a real photo of me with my son, but it's not recent. It's about three weeks old and it's... Um, I don't know what the... I've only just recently found out about this picture about an hour ago when I've posted it in the Telegram with my response to it. When the picture of my son was taken by my ex-partner when I was changing him on the toilet, washing his arse, this image was made out that I was showering Cairo in the toilet or something. Now, from what I can gather from this new image, um, people are trying to spin a narrative that this is the middle of the street and that me and Cairo are walking down the street and it's just naked and that's fine with me. That's not the case whatsoever. We were at our hotel after live had to live in a hotel with my child because people fucked with my accommodation. So yeah, my child would get in the pool and when he goes to the slide, he don't like going down the slide with his pants on. So fucking take him off at the top of the stairs and launch him off the top of the steps for the slide and there is nothing that I could do to stop him from doing that. Scream and shout all alike. And I'm not being funny as a single mum living at a small hotel with a child. You're not screaming and shouting all day. If the kid wants to be bollocked 
naked in 50 degree heat for an hour. I couldn't give a fuck, to be honest. He lives here. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's where he was every single day, so I couldn't give a shit when that's supposed to be his home and his surroundings. But nobody's concerned about the the fact that there's a stranger taking a picture of a child naked walking to his room from the swimming pool with his mother and then posting that image on social media. No one's concern is that. I so do you know that photo then that you said that you got off Embassy? When you said that you received the photo, so do you know the photo that you said you received and the, you said, oh, they cut his hair and you put it on your TikTok, his teeth look perfect in it, but you told us that his teeth needed fixing. So how did his teeth get so fixed quickly? Uh, they've took him to dentist. But his teeth were rotten and his teeth are there, his teeth are perfect. Hang on a minute, the commissioner. Are you saying that this... Is a foot because this is the image being circulated. Are you saying that this is an image of Cairo at a backpacker's hostel with strangers? Well, I'm not saying that. Whoever put it on TikTok I'm saying not asking, that, but I'm asking somebody in the chat. You fucking shut up. How old is he? Two. When did he get taken? <laughs> is he safe know. where he is now? What? Is he safe though, where he is now? It's a ridiculous question, isn't it? When people on this app have been making him unsafe for the entirety of his life by attacking his accommodations and making his mother mentally unstable and attacking my ability to provide an income for him to buy him basic fucking necessities like food and a pair of bastard socks and a fucking pair of flip flops. And now you're concerned about if he's okay in an orphanage. It, uh, it's, I, I it boggles the fucking was... mind, doesn't it? Where was your support for Cairo when he has been being stalked and terrorised? Where was your support for Cairo when people are taking naked pictures of him? You're very quick to look at me like I'm a piece of shit and point your fucking finger at me. But not once have you had any concern for the mindset behind the people doing these things to an innocent two-year-old child. What is wrong with you is my question. Well, actually, I was trying to say I was on your side. I'm not saying that I'm taking but, everyone but else's you're not, side. You're not saying anything in support of it, anything realistic and what's happened here, are you? You're just talking shit, actually. Ask him, trying to quiz me and ask me questions without actually... What are you talking about? I just asked the question if he was OK, that was all. Right, well, i about... I've answered it now. How do I end this box thing? I just want my box back to myself. Am I stuck now like this? <laughs> there's nobody in there request. There's lots of requests, but there's nobody like worth accepting. I'm out on oh, now, that's why you can hear noises. Mm. Fuck off. I'm looking through them. I'm not, listen, my, I've got positive energy in my life. I'm not going to sit here and like argue with people just for the sake of it. I know that's what you want on TikTok, but I don't do that in my life. Do you know what I mean? I can't allow myself to go to those places because I'll just meet you and fucking stamp on you.
No, I wish I was munching. I'm screwing without a joke. It's much about a thousand fags a day. You should see how I eat dick if you think this is messy. You can see that if you follow the link in my bio. I've not been able to see little cunt Cairo, no. I'll try and get that. Sometimes I'm starving. I wish it was fetal alcohol syndrome, but it's just I'm a massive cunt syndrome. I'm sorry to disappoint. I did fail the assessment for fetal alcohol syndrome. Why? Don't blame me wanting to be a single person and not just a single mother of fetal alcohol syndrome. That's just me knowing what side my bread's buttered on. You know what I mean? No. I wonder what they're going to get in for Christmas. I will sniff them, I've made about 300 quid on here tonight. Just tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Not just on here, about 100 quid on here, but with the PayPal's. Um, in the last hour, considering I don't advertise my OF or anything, it's doing very well. I don't think mayo is the right sauce for that food. The telegram's linked to my bio. Now I need a joint, that's awful. Thank you very much for the gifts. Going in a minute though. I'm not letting anyone up right now, no. The thing is, when I want to join, I will start joining people to the box. Randomly, when I feel like it, I refuse for you lot to tell me anything. Unless you're one of the people putting money in my bank account, you can't tell me shit.
those people could tell me what they want. It depends which ones they are, actually, not the Fyndon ones. <laughs> My telegram does work, there's 1,500 people in it. I can't get any smoke here, it's very illegal, but I'm okay. reply in the telegram now. No, it's my place to set my side of the story straight. When I see people lying or something it pisses me off, I'll only do things that are relevant to me. I'm not a bully or a bitch. I don't just see random people on TikTok and be like, oh, let's post that person in this group and roast them. <coughs> I don't want to do any of it, but I have to keep making these telegram groups and posting my side of it because these little bitches think that they're bad with a little 212 followers in the little group. No, sweetheart, you'll never be on my level, gobshite. The people in there are just sending me everything anyway, but I don't even look at it. I've not looked at anything since the last time I posted it about them fucking saying they had the disabled kids spying on me involved in stalking. That's when I thought, you know what? I don't really care what you're doing, you fucking weirdos. And then I got sent them videos of Connie the other day. I did watch that one, um, but I've been sent another three and a half minutes since then. I've not watched any of it. I've not, I'll be honest, I don't care. We're on different energetic fucking force fields, us lot. What you've got to understand is I can piss you all off and then go about my day. We're on different time scales. It's five o'clock in the afternoon when I'm posting a video knowing it's going to tip the UK over the edge. At nine in the morning, I'm turning my phone off for a few hours of going out, chilling on beach or fucking going for a walk or somewhere and then... I don't care. You lot live in TikTok world, fantasy world. Today I was on my phone all day, I'll give you that. I've got fuck all better to do with my time at the minute. I've had, but like you lot live in this fucking morning till night TikTok bullshit from one creator to the next terrorizing people and back again. I don't. I don't. I don't. I've, I've, I don't see any way of sitting on this app again and posting my day in the life videos of my actual day in the life, what you saw, because there's many different lives I'm living at the same time. I was literally prostituting myself. You, I had no choice from March till whenever it was, just around the time I had the assessment and everything with social services. I was fucking selling my cheeks to pay the bills while I waited for the peas from the yard. No shame, I don't care. I've got videos of it. I don't care. Did what I did to feed my fucking kids. <coughs> Not ask me, sweetheart. People don't understand the extent that I went to. So I don't really care about what they think of me. But this is my new online going forward. You won't catch me being a good mum, playing it nice. Every kid's a little cunt that should be heard and not seen and not heard. Like, I'm not doing that with you bitches anymore. I'm just being serious. Regardless what happens with Cairo's custody or my future, I won't be sharing it on here. Like, people don't wish you happiness. People don't want the best for you. Regardless what I post, people call me a terrible person. The amount of people that have messaged me wishing death upon me, wishing... <laughs> and I laugh because... I know, do you know what I mean? Everything, the whole situation, the whole scenario. Not one... I've not told one of my followers that have become my friends the truth. I've not told nobody the full situation. Everybody's asking, like, what has really happened?